Welcome everyone to another little clip from FTP Coaching. Today's little movie is going to feature Noddy and Rosie. Noddy was born on the 31st of December and it's now nearly um, a month old. His mother Rosie is a thoroughbred mare and has been with us for um, three years now. Um, she's had in her life um, three colts so far, so it looks like she's a bit of a colt breeder this one. Um, so we've put her to our own um, homebred stallion Remington Star who is by one of our um, top mares Miss Lindsay out of Lindsay and he is out of One Direction Remington is so One Direction is out of Conman Hazelwood Conman and Rosie has also produced a couple of years ago a full brother to Noddy which is um, featured here this is little Rocky Rockstar um, Rockstar unfortunately has been found dead in the paddock only about six months ago which was a shame. Let's look into Little Noddy. Here is Little Noddy. So we are doing um, a daily handling sessions with Little Noddy while mum is eating her hay happily. Um, I'm actually waiting for him to get to the milk bar because they've just been brought in. Here we go. He's finally got to it. Um, it does settle them down a little bit and it's way easier afterwards to get their focus and attention. Um, so the flies are compl absolutely horrendous today and please do not judge me on my outfit or looks because it's a, a very um, high humidity day here in Australia, Queensland and you can see the horses are not necessarily super comfortable. Um, their tails are going very busily to keep these pesty flies away from them. Um, now these little breaks you will see me during the video now and then taking a little bit of a break and just watching Noddy when he I guess had enough from all the touching and um, scratching so um, you will see him walk away or move away and I'll just wait um, which gives me time to assess I guess where we're at and what else I can um, introduce him to. So we'll just give this a little bit of a wait, but he's nearly done. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm sweating here. It's been a crazy few days. Now, he hasn't been in this stable for since his, um, I guess, birth, where he had to spend two days because it was just terrible weather and we had to lock him into this stable with his mum. Um, and he's inspecting it here as you can see because he hasn't been in there for about 26 days so um, and this is just the flies he's just getting them rid of them that's why he's been shaking his head so Noddy has been handled every day um, so me scratching and rubbing him is not actually something new you will see him trying to swing his little bot bot towards me in a minute. Um, I am okay with scratching his bottom, but I do not accept any push on my hand. So as soon as he does that, just puts a little bit of weight on my hand, I will pull it back. But he hasn't done that here and he's actually going to his mum because she will keep the flies off his face with her tail. So that's why they're standing often very closely to each other to help each other to keep the flies off each other. Now he'll show, he will show me here where he wants it. You can see his head coming down, meaning please, you know, come up or go down and scratch me higher up. And so he's giving me pretty much an indication what he actually wants me to do. Um, I'm also practicing with him the standing still. So by me standing still, I'm hoping he does. Um, you will also see me in front of his shoulders quite often which is stop so don't go any further than me stay behind my shoulders which he's doing well here now I'll be using um, the flies I guess um, to pick up his legs meaning when they actually land on his legs he will lift them so I'm timing it so that when there is a fly on his leg I will be going down to try to lift his little foot so I'm just using anything the environment pretty much gives me um, to get to a result, I suppose, um, rather than me pushing and shoving and trying to get his foot or get his leg in um, to do what I want him to do. So you can see here I'm going down because there's flies down there. There we go. 
and the same in the back there he's already lifted that one so i'll just use that and pick it up and let it go and ask again there we go let it go so these are just little things um i guess i um i do while he's in here so again we scratch all over now you might wonder why i use a little string in my hand i've got a string so this string um has many purposes to be honest um i can use it um to, for example, at the beginning to desensitize into strings and to ropes. And ropes are pretty heavy, so this string is quite light if I put it on him, so it's not as intrusive. Um, later on, I can actually even guide him with this string. So he's been desensitized to that string um, the day before, so you can see he's actually taking it on quite well. Um, so I just wrap it around him, take it off, and I do sort of all different things, rub his neck with it, go up to his ears and all of that so that he gets used to having a string, having like a halter kind of thing, um, you know, later on put on his head. So here I'm just going to walk in liberty in a way with him. So a bit tricky here, going around the mum. Um, again it's very important you do have a good relationship with the mother um, with the mare because otherwise this kind of stuff makes it pretty tricky um, she's not tied up as you can see she's actually quite difficult to be tied up hence we just um, trust her to be sensible in there and as you can see she is pretty cool and calm and collected um, so you can see me walk around with him just with the string over his head now he's obviously diving into that little corner, which is normal. They, um, there's a little witch's hat on the other side, and you can see that maybe also attracts him a little bit to go and have a look at that witch's hat. So here we go. <laughs> he's taking me for a walk now. Sometimes, um, especially at the beginning, I do let myself being led um, before I will lead. So I am happy to be led. I'm not putting any pressure on them at all. I'm pretty much just working with my body and with my voice and now and then increasing a little bit of pressure, but not much at all um, because I do not want him to resist, not the slightest bit. As you can see here, I just go, he's just taking me again for a little trip around the stable. So I just walk with him and that's all good. I just basically match his pace at the moment um, I will have to do that a few more times before I can get him to match my pace and then eventually lead him. Now, the transition, however, um, to eventually leading on a rope will then be very easy um, because he's already used to my body language and, and working with me. So you can see he potentially needs another break. I'm always giving him a little bit of an opportunity to have a dive underneath it um, to his milk bar. So, but looks like he's still keen to keep working. So the, oh, he doesn't want to. So when he, okay, he wants a scratch on the bottom. That's all good. Like I mentioned before, I will not accept um, any push, however. So it flies are terrible. Um, here, I saw that coming before, like, it was time to go back and get a little bit more juice. Um, it does help them to calm them down as well as um, they get focused again, they have a break and you can contemplate what else you want to do with him. Um, I think I am at that stage though where I'm starting to go, I think today is enough. Um, we've done enough, we've done enough good work. Um, so I think there is not that much more I am actually going to do with him. So it's very important to know when to stop. Um, it's no different from a foal to a riding horse or a ridden horse. You've got to know when, when time is up. Um, and otherwise you start to undo all the good work you've just done. So we'll see how he comes up. He'll obviously come back, but I'm not so sure how super keen he is. So I think, yeah, here we go. So I'm trying to introduce a little obstacle, not obstacle, a little item, which is the brush. Now he has been brushed before, so um there you go he does not mind it but he's not a big fan of it um keep in mind he's also very super sweaty and i don't think it's going to be super nice to have that brush on him so but i'm just going to give that a little bit of a go and let him go because he's already you could see like he had an attention span of what not even a minute and he's looking for his milk bar already so this is the session this is it we're finishing even though he's coming back, I'm not taking him back again. I'm actually now getting her ready to have her well-deserved shower in this heat. 
so we are now taking her outside and giving her a shower um, so that was pretty much the session so just I guess in recap um, what we do in daily handling is touching all over scratching all over um, we do a lot of the draw exercises where we pull in the foal in liberty towards us we do some grooming eventually we do some haltering and leading um, we introduce um, different items I guess or obstacles like a witch's hat or a brush or whatever it might be um, for the foals to then um, get used to it and even with the worming we eventually introduce a syringe with some apple mousse in it and um, try to entice them um, to lick it off our hands first of all and out of the syringe rather than you know going straight for their mouth so but anyway that I will show you in the future so um, now I think I better go and um, shower these horses
the salt, like a big one. Still a little bit what is this place. And then now and then he's got these kind of glimpses where he goes, oh, actually, let's do something. But there's not that many glimpses of that, is there?
Okay.
No. You are you scared, he's scared. Bad combo.